His story comes from a man who claims he was part of a special NASA mission, William Rutledge is retired and now lives in Africa. Some time ago came to reveal some amazing facts about his involvement with NASA in the late Sovietese Rutledge claims to have worked on at least two missions to the moon, including the failed Apollo 19 and Apollo 20, who says he was released in August 1976, from Vadeberg Air Force Base the United States, both of these missions, according to Rutledge were classified with space missions resulting from the collaboration between the United States and the Soviet Union government. This does not appear on any list of NASA missions and if this is true for good reason. The purpose of these missions was to investigate a large object on the far side of the moon in the Del Potezar region, allegedly discovered and photographed during the Apollo 15 mission was supposed to object which vaguely resembled a game of X-Wing as seen in the Star Wars movies have been a large alien spaceship that had crashed or was otherwise abandoned on the moon in ancient times. Towards the alien ship officially, Apollo NASA missions had ended with the number 17. Six of them landed on the lunar surface, the number 11 to number 17 inclusive with the exception of Apollo 13. It is assumed that after the 17th, Three rockets Apollo were used in later missions, but outside the Apollo program without aim at the moon, but a shorter route, send crews to the space station Skylab. And one more for the Apollo Soyuz mission. However, what William Rutledge says is that the Apollo 17 took, among others, the photograph of the alien ship abandoned which led to three subsequent moon landing missions were secret and were held in cooperation with the Soviets. Of the three missions, Apollo 18 would have orbited the area to confirm the data, the Apollo 19 would have suffered telemetry errors that prevented the Apollo 20 landing on the moon and have accomplished the unthinkable, get tangible evidence of extraterrestrial life. Always according to Rutledge, the mission was carried out with three astronauts, an American, Leo Asida, a Russian, Aleki Ilyuf, and himself as commander. Launched in August 1976, the ship served its purpose and after the moon landing, could reach the target area. There they found the alien ship, more than three kilometer long. It seemed abandoned long ago, except for a corpse still connected to what looked like a system of suspended animation. The exploration of the area allowed them to also locate remains of an artificial structure, perhaps an abandoned base. Rutledge says the Apollo 20 mission to the moon was successfully launched on August 16, 1976, with a crew of three members, William Rutledge, former Commander Bell forward slash USAF Laboratories, Leo Asida, former CSP Bell forward slash NASA Laboratories and Aleki Ilyuf, Soviet cosmonaut Apollo Soyuz, mission one year earlier. The rocket was launched American-made, Saturn V rocket, and the lunar module, Soviet-made. How big is the ship? Thanks to the website ramistrip.com we have a graphic to show. When we say huge we really need another word comes to no longer describe the size of the spacecraft. A composite, based on the different shots in the video image images and even videos of this alleged craft have appeared on the web and have been popularized by researchers like Richard C. Hoaglad in recent years. The flyby before the Apollo 20 moon landing this is the TV channel of the LM-15 lunar module during the final lap before descent. LM-15 passes over Tsiolkovsky, Femi, Delpote and Lucht before passing over the Isaac crater Y. The spacecraft is shot with telephoto lens closer, revealing details. The commander communicates the coordinates of the southeast of the main parts of the spacecraft, more than three kilometers long. Color distortions are caused by the rotating wheel inside the West Ios Color TV. The second video was filmed with a camera is fixed to the eyepiece of the telescope, giving clearer, more detailed images. The encounter with the Mona Lisa Rutledge claims that they, with Soviet cosmonaut, Leki Ilyuf, 
landed a lunar module, made in Russia, near the alien ship and actually entered it. Some artifacts were discovered and recovered, including two bodies alleged were the pilots one was in excellent condition and appeared to be female. A second body was too damaged to be recovered and only the head was recovered. The female one has been named, Mona Lisa. We went inside the huge spaceship, and enter another triangular ship was within the great ship. The examination determined that it was a very old mother ship, which sailed space for at least 1.5 million years. There were many signs of biology inside, we find traces of ancient vegetation in a kind of motor in the section where they were. We also found triangular special rocks that emitted tears of a yellow liquid that apparently have some medicinal properties special and of course, remains of other extrasolar creatures. We also found remains of small alien bodies, 10 centimeters, lying on a huge network of glass tubes along the ship. This network was called City here on Earth, shortly after our return. But the great discovery apart from the monstrous navy was that of the two bodies, one of them almost intact. The city was also called Season 1 but was so deteriorated that appeared to be a network of tubes containing real space junk, full of scrap metal and gold pieces. Only one construction seemed intact, which we named the Cathedral. We took pictures of few pieces of metal found, and each party where they had samples of calligraphy. The city seemed to be as old as the ship. I do not remember who named the woman Recuperado the body if Liu for me, but this is my description. Humanoid, woman, 1.65 meters, with genitals, hair, six fingers function, pilot, found with navigation devices set in the fingers and eyes. We had to cut two cables connected to the nose. Leuf had to cut the devices connected to the eyes. Concretions of blood or body fluids were spilled through the mouth, nose, eyes and some body parts. I had no clothing, space suit or some clothing. Some parts of the body were in unusual conditions of preservation, such as hair, and the skin was protected by a thin transparent layer. As we said at mission control for his condition did not appear to be neither dead nor alive. No we had medical training, of course, but Leuf and I conducted a test by setting our biomedical equipment in the body of the woman, but to everyone's surprise, the telemetry received and verified by one of the doctors of the mission control team at the Earth was positive. Apparently he was in a deep state of hibernation or suspended animation. But that's another story. We also found a second body, practically destroyed, but brought back the head. The skin was blue-gray, blue pastel. Skin had some strange details above the eyes and the front, also had a strap around the head, without any registration. The cockpit of the mothership was full of writings and consisted of long semi-hexagonal tubes. She is on Earth, Mona Lisa and is not dead, but I prefer to post other videos before telling what happened after. Strange tubes were found in the face of the alien woman these were later dropped and his body was inspected and filmed aboard the lunar module. Samples of what appears to be written were also discovered, although they look more scribbles. While the video and the story could have been falsified, the object was photographed by Apollo 15 is all actual lights. No discoloratio of the surface, a photographic device or an oddly illuminated crater. 3D photography clearly shows the shape and position of this very unusual object. The following image was made by taking two images released by the Apollo 15 mission and the emerged to form a three-dimensional image. To see this clearly need a pair of 3D glasses, red on the left, blue on the right. What do you see?